Hey everyone, this is Mary Beth from Mary Beth Midwest Adventures, and thanks for coming with me on this journey. Today we are at Seed Savers Exchange in Decorah, Iowa. If you guys don't already know, this is the Midwest Mecca for gardeners. Seed Savers Exchange is located just a few miles north of Decorah, Iowa, in a region known as the Driftless. The nickname Driftless comes from the fact that this area was not flattened by glaciers during the last ice age. So Seed Savers was started in 1975 in Missouri, and they moved here to the Driftless region in 1986, and they have accumulated up to 890 acres on this heritage farm. The Seed Savers' main goal is to conserve and promote garden and food crop heritage for future generations. So one of the main goals at Seed Savers is to preserve history, to keep a connection with our ancestors who grew all of these heirloom varieties. They are preserving them, preserving these endangered species from going extinct. This even includes heritage farm animals. The Lillian Goldman Visitor Center is open seasonally from March to October, 10 to five, and is free to visitors. Inside, you can buy gardening tools, books, decor, and most importantly, seeds. What they are most famous for are the many, many varieties of heirloom tomatoes. They also have pamphlets on how to save seeds yourself and they even have jewelry made out of seeds. Time to head outside. This is Diane's garden and it is designed and maintained by founder Diane Wheely Ott. When Diane and her husband Kent founded Seed Savers in 1975, they were given seeds by her grandfather and these were brought over from Bavaria when they immigrated to Iowa in 1884. One of which was Grandpa Ott's morning glory and the other was a German pink tomato. This is an absolutely beautiful garden. Look how big this coxcomb is. That is huge. So these are Grandpa Ott's morning glories. I didn't get here early enough and these are already closed up for the day. Oh, this is pretty. Seed Savers started as a network of gardeners interested in preserving heirloom varieties and sharing seeds. Today, there are over 13,000 members and 20,000 plant varieties. In case you guys have never seen asparagus full grown, this tree looking thing is asparagus. These are Pomeranian geese and their status right now is threatened. They were developed by northern German farmers uh, maybe as early as 1550. The seed house is where they store thousands of seeds in a freezer and they select a few every year to grow out in their gardens to keep them healthy and viable. Many of the people who donate seeds also send in stories they have a seed historian that collects these stories and sometimes they even publish them in their seed catalog. So this is the Seed Savers Visitor Center, flower garden, the poultry is behind the barn there. And I wanted to show you, because it's really hard to see, that just beyond this white fence, that is the staircase up to the Seed Saver Bank building where they freeze all the seeds. It was kind of hard to find, so there you go. Seed Savers Exchange is the nation's largest non-governmental seed bank of its kind. This little kid's area is kind of cute. Step inside our lab. Oh, nope, this way. Ooh. So this is their test garden. When they get seeds donated to them, the scientists will grow the crop for several years to make sure that it is actually indeed an heirloom and not a genetically modified crop. So this is the garden where they do that. There are three scientists that work here full time growing and collecting seeds. This is buckwheat with all the little white flowers and it's a cover crop. 
Oh, for a flower if you've never seen one. These sunflowers are probably at least 15 feet tall. Aren't these gorgeous? This is some curly kale. Look at this beautiful color here. Check out this white eggplant. We got a lot of tomatoes. Here they are trialing 10 open pollinated indeterminate heirloom slicing tomatoes and they have people growing them all over the country and in Canada so that they know in what ranges and climates they can grow. So seriously this tomato is a couple pounds. It's freaking heavy. Oh my gosh look at these gorgeous purple beans. Toby's po Toby Poe's Look at this color. The Heritage Farm has miles of trails that are open from sunrise to sunset. Uh, it's definitely a bald eagle. So these are the Heritage cattle. Hmm. You ever get the feeling that you're being watched? Oh, there's a little baby one. Ancient White Park cattle are a rare and at-risk breed from Great Britain. They were used for dairy, beef, and as draft oxen. There are also trout streams on the Heritage Farm with many varieties of fish. So I'm leaving the Valley Trail and the cute Heritage cows and I'm heading up on the Greenery Trail towards the old orchard. I think the path goes this way. Found the old orchard. Seed Savers has multiple orchards and they have over a thousand different varieties of apples. Ooh, I found another one of their gardens. And it's pretty big, it just keeps going and going and going. So something I would say about these trails is they're not well marked. They're also pretty rugged. There's a lot of tree branches and roots sticking out. And there's also uh, a lot of stinging nettle out here. So just be careful. So this is the location of a cabin in retreat. You can see the stone fireplace there in the background home after the Civil War. If you're a gardening nerd like me, you're going to love your visit at Seed Savers. For more information on visiting or buying seeds, check out my link in the description below. Please leave any questions that you have in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and have a good one.